He's just practicing for a minute. Welcome to the Asian Snooker Championships of 2024. The host nation, Qatar Doha, welcomes the fans in attendance and to the fans around the world. Now it's time to meet the players. Pankash, how are you feeling? Yeah, good, thank you. Happy to be um, in the knockouts of the Asian Championships. And you're doing very well at the moment. And we wish you all the best. Thank you so much. to meet another gentleman. Wow, what a player you are, and we wish you all the best today. Thank you, uh, especially uh, thanks to Allah, uh, or uh, thanks to Qatar Association and uh, Foundation, uh, or Pakistan, my fans, uh, my sponsors, uh, very thankful for you. Thank you. Just, we wish you all the best in thank the you. championships. Thank you. Thank you so much. Let the game begin.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Asian Stuka Championships of 2024. The host nation of Qatar, Doha, welcomes the fans in attendance and to the fans around the world. Hey, this is an incredible potting machine. Do not blink. And he is up against the Grandmaster. Pankash is coming in strong with a new game. I had breakfast with him this morning. And uh, we were talking about how well he is playing. So, let's have a look at this opening red. He knows he's got to perform well. Oh, wow. Fine, thank you so much. Let's enjoy the match at the moment. I hope we're gonna have a great match between these two guys. As we all know, how great Pankaj is. And I think for the last how many years, he never lost this round. Wow. We are witnessing the top 16 players today. There's two sessions. There's a session straight after this, so you won't miss any of the action. It's estimated 3 o'clock session, but I feel we're going to run over that 3 o'clock session due to the fact of the ability of these players. They just want to get on with the, this match, and being best of seven, I've seen it where it's gone into two to three hours for the match. But they're both firing on all cylinders in respects to getting break building going. Oh, yes, totally agree with you. And the best of seven with the standard of these two guys. I think we're gonna have the match finish in quick time and enjoyable. I hope it's gonna be an enjoyable match. That's the most important thing. Anyway, let's uh, give a little tips about uh, Pankaj, how he managed the pressure in this kind of a su situation. What could you say more about him, which he haven't been achieved in this amateur game? Well, I spoke. I had breakfast with him this morning and I've been doing the commentary for his matches over the years and there is a change in his game. It's what I, what I found, pinpoint position. He's, he's rebuilt it, he's got to the mountain and he's come back down the mountain and he's rebuilt his game. And how he's rebuilt it is this, pinpoint accuracy to keep up 
and try and get this title. And he's been working very hard at a new game to become champion of this year. And I identified it with him and he said, spot on. Now, pinpoint accuracy, he's aiming for. He's not very consistent with it and he's working so hard with it. He wants to be perfect every shot to be crowned the champion. Oh, that's absolutely pleasure, you know. Such an honor. You had a chance, you met him, you get all these details from him. That's really good. And we can see by his game at the moment. He's been very good with his position. I ha unfortunately haven't watched the previous round. I don't know who he met also. So last time I commentated on the final. Do you remember that? Of course. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It was of amazing course. final. We bounce off each other. Mm, yeah. um, and what we mean by that, ladies and gentlemen, we feed off. I know you can't stay for the whole match. I wish you could. It'd be lovely if you did. But the reality is this. When, when you're on your own between a minimum of 10 to 15 hours, you tend to stare at the screen and you start to imagine things happening. Uh, it happened uh, in his previous match. I started to get in colour blind with the balls. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> and there was only two balls on the table. And I said, oh, <laughs> where's the pink gone? And it was the white. <laughs> and, and I couldn't progress anymore during the commentary because my mind went. And you have to be focused, as you know. Absolutely, yeah. Con uh, concentration <laughs> spell. And unfortunately, my world record was around about 11 hours nonstop. And I couldn't oh. go beyond 11 hours. So it is difficult focusing with these guys but it's lovely to do the commentary with you again tell us a little bit for the viewers who you are and where you come from i know okay. the answers but over to you first of all my name is yusuf i am from oman billiard federation i used to be a snooker player yeah I remember for ages those, those days yeah. uh, i i cannot say i retired from the game i still play the game good i I do enter some competition here and there, but you know, and, and on top of that, I'm a musician. Yes. That's which take a lot of my time. Yes. Yeah, I'm a big time I've musician. I'm, and it's yeah. the flute? Yeah, I'm a flute player. Ah, I'm I got a, it, yeah, right? I'm a professional flute player. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I've been playing since I was young. So basically, the time becomes so, so tight for me. And you know, it, both the same thing, snooker and 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 playing flute they take ages and they take a long time they need practice they need commitment they need discipline and i'm telling you you don't want to put these two things together no matter how good you are you're going to lose one of them so basically i just play snooker for fun and uh, i'm so happy to be here Especially with you commentating, doing this commentary. <laughs> Don't make me. Serious. No, I'm really, I'm, oh, I'm serious. Enjoy that, uh, yeah, ladies I'm, and gentlemen. Not yeah. just. Uh, yeah. it, it, it's incredible. Thank you for that. And uh, basically, I wished if I could come here and stay a few days and uh, do more commentary with you. It's just you know, my type of work. Tomorrow I'm going to the studio. I'm starting to recording again, doing some recording music and all this. So basically, a brief about me. And uh, most of the players, they know me because yes. I've been ar around with them for ages since we were, uh, since we were teenage, almost you could say that. I've been with uh, Pankaj, not much, but most uh, of the other guys, Gulf guy, Asian guys. Uh, I've been, I played against Hussein Vafai. We played against. Uh, I haven't played against Pankaj. I played against a lot of, of course they beat me. I'm not happy to say that, but <laughs> yeah, they were much more better player than me. And that's it, I think. So, oh my God, look how he missed straightforward red. I'm gonna come into this one. Yeah. We talked about uh, Pankash's new game and the weakness, and I touched on the weakness of Pankash's game, and we just saw it there. The easy ones are so difficult. It tends to happen he is a machine, he's trying to get to perfection, but the reality is the easy ones tend to be missed. Unfortunately, that's absolutely right. So, basically, 
I never heard about Awais Munir. He's a Pakistani player, but uh, I heard his potential. He's a very good player. Um, we could talk a, bit, a little bit about him. Yeah. Um, hey, look, he's a good cueist. But I haven't followed his match. Do you have any idea? Yes, I, I was. Unfortunately, yesterday, um, I couldn't. Uh, I started the match, but um, my wife was flying back from Dubai, and so I had to get to the airport. So I didn't get a chance to see him play. But I had a quick glimpse on the YouTube channel. Um, and to be fair, I would rather be here monitoring the live action than the catch up. So this will be the first time I've seen him play. And I had some information. He's in tremendous form. Okay, yeah, la you see, let's see. This is one of the most important chance he got. Let's see how could he capitalize from this chance. We'll know a little bit about him. And the viewers will see how he could cope with the game because I think this is a straightforward chance to get and especially from somebody like you know Pankaj he missed a straight red he got to punish him a little bit to show him that he's still there if you're gonna miss I'm not gonna let you go away with it so let's see Amir Munir what can he do with it so we're gonna have a look at the leaderboard okay and that will indicate how well he's playing well he's not on the leaderboard did he make any century or something no. like oh no oh my god you saw that he missed yeah just I was, there. yeah I, I missed that one because i was just looking at the leaderboard but i want to know why he missed it and i need to work no out. it's a straight red he was concentrating yeah he was concentrating on the position Let so much see the he wanted to stop for replay. the play yeah he just wanted to stop for the pink right i'm gonna watch the replay on this one so he takes the red up there I, I, what I tend to do, as you might know in the commentary, I try to identify for the players, in my experience from a pool player's point of view, um, why, how he missed. And I need to look at that. And we need to also, I cover the strengths uh, and weaknesses of the players. And I need to cover that angle as well. And what I did here, which was lovely, uh, this morning at breakfast with all the players they're watching their games and listening to my feedback and i've been spot on with the players so i must oh. be getting better absolutely so what we tend to do because jerome is our camera director yes. where we just switch the cameras around so he would decide which is the best shot and um so I'm going to come up to this shot. It must be this red. Yeah, he's weird. missed. So I'm going to zoom in on his cue action. Looking at his cue action here. Okay, I, I found the weakness. Yeah, it's aiming. He 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 needed to be an archer and hit the bullseye, and he's just hit the the rim of the bullseye. He still haven't settled yet. Yeah, exactly. He so hasn't settled yet. That's where we're going to come down to. His cue action looks amazing. Oh, I like what he did there. Yeah, he didn't it, force it. Either. No, his presentation, he stayed down after the shot. Oh, that's good, yeah. So what, what we, I do this in the pool world, uh, in, uh, when I'm representing England on the world stage. Um, I tend to stay down to see where the alignment of the cue ball and the object balls are going. That's the best way to describe it. And because he stayed down, he, he's working out already how the table's running. Now, the reason why he missed is because of his aiming. So you have, it's like an archer, when it's windy, you have to adjust to it. And we'll see that with Pankaj as well, how they adjust to the conditions. When I was in the arena, it was warm. It was mm -hmm. nice and warm. Mm -hmm. Now, yesterday, so all the players were frozen. Oh. And what do you think of the arena? It's amazing to be quiet on amazing setup table setup everything it was 
it's nice you can watch the whole matches you know you can watch table one table two it's four table in it yeah you can watch all the table that's the good thing of it yeah it's the accuracy which is allowing pankash to come back to the table so that's the weakness and project of this match and look at the scoreboard seven plays 36 so we indicate that he just needs a nice break of 10 20 to get him going into the 30s and the game's over i think if he if, if he just took the open reds he doesn't need anything else he could take this let's see i saw something incredible uh, in the tournament players tend to it's hard to believe but it, it did happen players were trying with the colors and when they got respotted they were snookering themselves it happened three or four times in the tournament on the tv table oh, they forgot well they didn't forget they knew the cue ball at uh, the object ball was coming out but they snookered themselves whether they're trying to hold the spot get around the spot i think does the tv table plays different i was told off saying that because every table is the same yeah, yeah but the thing say. is but i know it is i know yeah. that they it's said the heat and the light exactly i think it plays different if you exactly. say that yeah because they, they want to stop the cue ball the cue ball doesn't stop it's, it's react different yeah than the other table you know what i mean so and basically there you go. yeah he will just need those three to four reds and that's it now he's let's say 30. i was always told the tv table is table one and they're yeah. all the same but you know and i know and no it's not the same it's it's not the same out there is the light it's big. Yeah. the biggest lights yeah i the, the length there's four of them mm. if you cut the table into four quarters that's mm. how big the lights are so that you've got a whole table of lights mm. above your head and when you're sitting down mm. you're in the fridge absolutely and I talked yesterday, how do you deal with those? There's the pinpoint accuracy. Do you yeah, see that? Yes, yeah, sir. So he's more focused. He hasn't come back far enough, but he's more focused than he's ever been in his life. Oh. That's what he, he wants this title. But at the moment, I think there are so many good players left on the table in this tournament. And let's see. Does he have the upper hand until now? The most improved player, in my opinion, is from Iran, Amir. Now, he's, he went to the mountain, and he's because he's the defending champion, he's getting up the top of the mountain, and he's looked down, he hasn't. He went back to the starting line. He's rebuilt his game completely. Who's he's, that, Amir? Amir. Yeah. from Moran he came he took the Oman open a few months back he played there last year and he won it oh big, no it's the beginning of this year I think yeah yeah and he won it he played in, in incredibly well and unfortunately he beat Habib in the final he met Habib and he beat Habib he played really well and what I saw from an independent point of view from when Amir played in the World Championships when I was doing the commentary then last year to where he is today I saw the biggest change in his armory mm -hmm. he's got three stages he's got the f you'll see it when you watch him on the TV table he slows down his presentation of mannerism around the table I think I think Munir gonna concede now yeah yeah he did and then there's a part two in the middle of the game he controls beyond he makes sure where all the balls are on the table and his end game is flawless oh my so he is the most improved player i have mentioned it to him and he said how did you know i said i just say i'll see it he said well you know it was like how did you know i was doing that let me tell you something yeah <laughs> i saw amir's game now I'm seeing Pankaj. Don't forget, there is 
the new kid on the block. Eye of the Alice. Tiger. Eye of the Tiger. Oh, yeah. He is the Eye of the Tiger. He is. And he's after this. He won. He just won the world champion. Yeah. And definitely. Definitely. He won to win the, the Asian champion. Can you stay with me for another game? Because I'm in this in this office all on my own. Of course. Good. Man. Yeah, I will Good stay man. for another game. Yeah. yeah. Another um, game or another lock, frame? You do you mean, door. Jerome? Lock the door. Lock the door. No, don't lock the door. Lock the door. Okay. Okay. Have you got any chains and padlocks? I can <laughs> chain you to the chair. I don't want to be on my own. I don't like it on my own. I know how does it feel, you know. People, I'm a volunteer uh, commentator, and people, um, I've done over fifty world championships now in different areas in because i'm a world's billiards commentator i would like to take this opportunity and say thank you to Cata Billiard federation the wpa the ibsf as well as well as the asian championships um for this opportunity of a lifetime as you know mm. we've been together over many years over 10 years plus and you've been with me so this is my way of saying thank you very much coming in from a pool player's point of view and uh Usually I do the, the pool, um, doing the commentary, and the billiards, as well as the six reds, and the ladies, and the doubles, and the men's. So roughly over 50 world championships, many tournaments as well, ranking events, I do the commentary. And being a volunteer, I love it, and I will never, ever be a professional. Look, let me say this again. I know we just begin to the sec at the second frame. I think I already said this to you outside. Yeah. We've been through many tournaments, yeah. many, many tournaments. We've seen so many venues. We've seen so many or yeah. organization. Would you agree with me? For the last five to six years, Qatar been making one of the best venues, best tournament organization, organizing. Absolutely. We've changed from the venue, and I haven't got news about Caterpillar Federation. We've changed the home venue to a beautiful complex. Oh, really? Yes. And it's going to be uh, put together. Uh, they've already got it. They've, they're moving all their home into a new organization. Caterpillar Federation, I've got a beautiful setup. And as far as I'm aware, they have an arena. That's amazing. So that's all taking place as we watch the clearance here. So, you asked me a question. We have gone into hotels for the pool tournaments. There is, I can't, we, we can't announce what's happening in the future. I have great news, but we can't tell the world. But Qatar Billiard Federation and WPA are all working together and the IBSF, great future ahead for the players and uh, exciting times. Oh, so yeah. you're absolutely right. The snooker and billiard look just brighter now. Yeah. Absolutely, that's good. Let's see now what Munir can do with this chance. He started really with the amazing long red. He put it at stay on the black. It's just from Pankaj broke off. Yeah, yeah, as you say. To me, he looked queuing very well. He's queuing very well. Let's see how much can he get out of this opportunity, which he created for himself with a beautiful long red. And there we go. Mm -hmm. Let's see how much can he make out of it. I like his mannerism around the table. Cool, calm, and collective. That's number one. And number two, his thinking ability. He's getting on with it. Absolutely. His pace on the table, he doesn't rush, mm. but his pace is not slow at all. Mm. Oh, I think he overhit it, or and he need the cue ball to stop. He need the cue ball to stop. The hair I the yeah, as you about that. Mm. Mm. Let's see. This is a pressure shot coming. Oh, amazing, amazing. Where's the white? Where is the white? It, oh, it just stopped. Gone. Oh, oh it, it just, just stopped. stopped on time. <laughs> wow, that's how tight the pocket is, ladies and gentlemen. 
That is tight, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Look at you that. You know who you remind me with? JV. John Virgo. Oh, the cue yeah. ball guy. The cube? Yeah, many oh. people said <laughs> I have got some new phrases. Yeah. Uh, people come up with phrases. Oh. And the white has disappeared. Absolutely. Oh, what a shot. Unbelievable. So I tried to get some phrases in. Let's see, Pankaj, what can he do? Can he put this long red? Absolutely. Shot to nothing. And also what I do is the scoreboard. Um, it, it doesn't take effect at the moment, 27-0. And, and oh, what amazing. A shot. What a shot. What is going on? What is going on in this uh, game? Just amazing. I don't know where to begin with the highlight shots. I usually do highlight shots, but I'll tell you what, I think we're going to have to show the whole game to the world. <laughs> That's amazing. Amazing two shots, you know, both of them. The first, the second hit, uh, the, I mean the first red, which is Munir Pot. Yeah. And he started his break of 27 or something like this. And this is this red, which Bakad, yeah. I think he's going to go top. Oh, no, he's just going to drop the blue. Does he have a plant on or something? Only Why he played like this? Because he's playing pinpoint accuracy. And the answer to that is he does malfunction now and again. He's trying to be too perfect. But his safety is the greatest safety I've seen on, Absolutely, the, TV yeah. on the TV table. He's a very good tactical player. Oof. He's an amazing Oof. tactical player. Now, when I did the World Championship Billiards, um, it was in the semi-finals. And it was raced to, I think it was best of seven. Or I'm, I think it's either best of seven or best of five. One of the it must have been best of seven, I think. And his opponent was on ninety-seven points, and he missed. And Pankash was on zero, hundred points. He scored. He scored. So either hundred and one or hundred. Whatever he needed, he he ran the table. And that's a poor shot. He played uh, played by Munir. So his ability of playing billiards is helping him in this snooker game. Absolutely, that's one of the key facts in billiard. You have to know how to control the cue ball. Definitely. It's all about cue ball. Oh, he just missed. I think he moved a lot in this shot, oh, if you could I'm see. Gonna check. I will check, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, a lot of movement. Replay. If we see the movement. Let's have a look. Yeah, look at his head movement. He didn't stay still on it. Look at it. Okay. okay. Well, I'm just checking the replay. No. No. Oh. You see? Yeah, you see there? Slight, yeah, yeah. You, the, 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 the problem you have with any sport, is that a plan? Can he make that? The two reds into the black, right? Yeah, he's looking into this one. I, I don't think so. No? We can't see it from the camera angle, this side. No. But no, I think he's going for safety. He's but going for safety. For sure, he's going for it. But the safety side of it, look at this. Look at the determination. Absolutely. Oh, he hit the blue. He's left the, has he left the red? Oh, he's apologised. Oh, what wow. I love about this, the sportsmen on the good fortune and misfortune, they apologise. Absolutely. It's, you know, it's called a gentleman game. Abs that's what I said in the interview. Yeah. And welcome to the next gentleman. And by the way, I was in Sri Lanka. Uh, my wife took me to Sri Lanka uh, a few years ago. And I went to the hotel. It was an England hotel and a Scottish hotel all joined together. And at the reception, uh, somebody recognised me. They, and they said, oh, we've got a snooker table here. And my wife looked at me and she said, no, you're not playing snooker. And so <laughs> I we bet she wouldn't let you do no. <laughs> So they went in and I said, OK, we'll just have like one game. We'll have one oh, game. Oh, what a shot. shot. You what saw a, that? Yeah. It's absolutely Incredible. This is an incredible shot, yes. We're treated to a great game. He have no room to manipulate anything, you see? 
like that perfect and it was a very old table don't and tell me 200 years oh, <laughs> it was ivory balls really ivory balls joe davis oh, <laughs> before he was heard and i hit the cue ball mm. okay he passed me the cue no farrow on the cue just a tip that's how old it all was and i said please don't turn the lights on whatever you do do not turn the lights on mm. They were gas lights. <laughs> oh, my. Was, oh my word. It was gas lights above the table. It was horrible. I it think horrible. this guy playing really good, by the way. I'm excited. Yeah, it is going to be a good match because he's looked confident and he's wait. he took his chances. He doesn't wait for the chance. The two red he put to get in the table, they're both really difficult. Mm. Nothing was ready for him. The first red he knocked and this red to start this break. Let's see what can you do, Munir. He knows he has to win this match to advance to the quarterfinals. And the final is played in a couple of days in the semis as well. So he knows he's got to perform his best. And isn't he looking amazing? He is. He's not phased, is he? No. And he doesn't waste time at all. He knows what he's going to I think he knows what he's doing very well. He's a good player, let's see. Do you see how he's breathing? Mm. Very relaxed, his heart rate is down. Mm. And Pankash can only look on. I realized something. Most Go of ahead. The, most of the Pakistani players, I've played with them a lot. I've got friends of mine which they play. Their cue action. They all look at their backhand. You know what I mean? Absolutely. Not, the, not the bridge hand, the backhand. No, yeah. It's perfect. Yeah. They all have the same, te almost similar technique. Most of them are play with them. Now you could tell. Look at his backhand. I mean, when he cued. Look, look at it. Look at it. They all at the back. It's not straight. You know what I mean? Absolutely. With the elbow. There it is. We got the yeah. hammer angle. Well yeah. done, Jerome. Most of them, if you just look at that, they're all the same. But to be honest, he's not bad, yeah? For me, the he's, first time I've seen him play. Yeah, he needs few reps. He's dangerous. Yeah. I'm going out. i gotta, I got to play my game here. Pankash is saying I've got to get my game going. Absolutely, quickly. Beyond. Oh, oh my God. Perfect. But, yeah. Look how he can on the pink. And I think he've got an angle to come back to the to the red. So simple, just put the pink, one cushion and you stay on that red. There we go. No. Yeah. In in the what I like about the snooker game, we're gonna look at the scoreboard. Mm -hmm. This is how I do the scoreboard. He just needs a red and a colour. Fifty in front. But the ball behind the black spot on the cushion down here yeah. just pointing to the screen next to the dragon that's going to be playing a major part the following red to the right is going to be playing a major part so he's ahead in points yes i think you have got an angle to stun and stay on that exactly red above the black yeah, and that's what's going to and look at the end game yes the yellow as well so what i mean by the end game mm. it's going to be very difficult for to clear the play yeah absolutely no he just Pankaj already needs snookers at the moment. But if he missed somewhere along the line? Absolutely. I think Pankaj is not going to come back. And I was how? I was sure from the first red he put, this guy going to take this frame. And look at the time. Yeah, no time. They don't waste any time. I think this match is going to be finished so quickly. With no time. And the crowd is building up in the knockout stages. Absolutely. I know the qualifying stages, hardly anybody came. Uh, how many sessions in this? Uh, this is it. Two sessions? Two just session finished. What time the second session? Three o'clock. Oh, my And God. that's why you're so there's here. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> so Ali Obeidi's playing. Hmm? Ali Obeidi's oh, playing. Oh, my God. I can't. You've got I to stay. I Cancel can't. the air flight. Yeah. Cancel no. your flute lesson. <laughs> no, I've got a recording tomorrow. Big okay. Thing. Record it here. I wish, <laughs> I wish, believe me, I wish I do it in studio. 
Actually, I've got this guy who did the music. I don't know if it's a temp temporary music. It's a modern music, which you're never going to understand it. I don't understand it neither. He just, he just wanted me to play. Wow. Yeah. He said, I want exactly the same sound which you're making. And he gave me the details. But the music is so difficult. I've been trying practicing for a while. I had it last week. So that's why I cannot stay at the moment. Yeah, that's okay. They won all. Let's wait for the second game. Well, I know we might go for a commercial, but let's stay with us. Just, uh, Jerome, stay with us. Yeah. Look at this. See the camera guy? Yeah. Now, that's either, uh, I won't be able to tell, but that's either BN Sports, Outcast, or Cata TV, whichever one. We are witnessing, just not on YouTube, we are broadcasted all over the world. BN Sports, Outcast, and Cata TV are linked to Cata Billiard Federation YouTube. Maybe when you look at the YouTube channel, 500, 600, 100, it, it's just the feed, what they take from it into their studio. And it does go into Arabic and into English as well. But I can assure you, ladies and gentlemen, we are at a thrilling time. So if you've got a quick five minutes, go and grab a cup of tea, grab a cup of coffee, come back, and don't miss any in action, because we ain't going anywhere. I got you glued to the, you didn't realize you're glued to the chair. I wish, I'm you not, no way. Lock the door on the way out, please. There oh goes the God. camera crew. No way. I no. really wish to stay, you know. It's just my commitment That's doesn't okay. allow it, but I'm, I'm having a time of my life, you know, doing this, especially <laughs> with you, <laughs> to be honest. Now, listen, if you look there, uh, the gentleman, the head coach of Hong Kong, China, Alan, I went out a cup of tea with him this morning, and we were talking about his players and the future of his players as well. And the gentleman in the red T-shirt is the referee as well. And if you look in the far corner, previous gold medal as well, Pankash's friend. I forgot his name. Yeah, the coach. Yeah, the coach. He's a, yeah. And what's his name? I forgot his name. I really forget. I just met him today. Wow, lovely person. Yeah, he's amazing. With him. I tend to have breakfast with the players mm. as well. Go and meet them and see what's happening. I tend to meet roughly... Depends on what tournament, 50 to 60. And then in the pool tournament, up to 500 players. I tend to meet everybody. Now we're just getting ready for the next frame. Do not blink. And it is worrying times. It's the top 16. Who will make it through to the quarterfinals? Do you feel Pankash has to play a little bit stronger? Yeah, I think. Munir, look, let's be honest. Pankaj is a very experienced player. Uh, to me, on the paper, he's a winner. Okay. Okay, but the way I see Munir is playing, let me be honest. I cannot predict 100% the match, but I'm telling you, Pankaj have to play well. Absolutely. Have to His play. new game yeah. has to be pinpoint position. Yes, have to he, be. He if he want to win the match. Yes. And what about the table? Araka. Uh, yeah. The classic M1. Oh, yeah. Looking nice. It's amazing. And there's our camera crew just getting ready. Gentleman just walking down. And there is Mr. Stephen Lynn behind the camera there. Watching Hong Kong China play. So we're just moments away. And on behalf of Cathy Billiard Federation, we say thank you very much for this. For all the viewers around the world tuning in. Now, welcome back. Frame number three. And what a beautiful cloth here. It is worth as well. And what a break off shot in behind the green. Oh my god. That's a good one. He's got the path. Can, can he 
Can he see those red? Ooh. Not too sure. And in the crowd there is Mike Russell and Michael Giorgio. Watching. Oh, I haven't met Michael Giorgio. You know, well, I, I hope seen you him. get the chance to. Yeah, I saw him last time, but uh, I haven't said hello to him. We haven't spoke. You see, there we go. From the first shot, he got in trouble. You know, you have to be careful because the guy is. Yeah, he's looking at swerving around the green, fraught with danger. He knows his opponent has a mismatch. But I was told today that. Both players are in tremendous form. But Pankash is looking, trying to roll in behind the cluster uh, in, in one, two, three rails. Oh, God, and he's looking cool and relaxed. Yeah. Even this shot is dangerous. But Even this shot is dangerous. Look, wow, look, he, look. Has he got it? Yeah, but still left the red. You know? Pankaj yeah. won his last match to qualify yeah. uh, in his group as number one seeded. He was, I think it was like 40, 50 points down, and he came back to win against uh, Mohammed from Pakistan. So he's showing great form. But he do Mohammed Ath Mohammed Salim? Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah, he's an amazing putter. But this shot here. The human error going into the black. He didn't get good fortune. And now he has to get this safe. He had to play behind the ball car. One Which one would you go for? I'll make sure the cue ball is safe enough. I'll because be basically got a lot of open reds at the moment. I'd just be happy to get on the ball line. You see? There it is. Yeah, that looks good. That looks really good. Very good cue ball. And Very good cue ball. You can't go more than that. No. It's really tight on the rail. He's stopping the path with the using the blue. Mm -hmm. Clever shot. Yeah, absolutely. Look at that. He didn't want to be so clever, go up and down, you can't. But I hope he won't find himself behind the green now. No, he didn't play it so well. I'm looking for a plan. I don't see anything there. Players tend to not worry about plants and all of a sudden they make it by mistake. And look at the flowers and the setup. Looking Absolutely. Lovely. Try to go in behind the brown. That was a good shot of that. Absolutely. Was Millimeters away to be perfect behind the brown. And by the way, I had a holiday in Oman. I love your Green Mountain. Really? Yeah. A few years ago. A few years. Okay, that's a different case. I thought you just recently been there. No, because if I did, you'd be upset because Absolutely. I didn't contact you. I would have gone out of the commentary room just right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to let you know. And your dolphins are amazing. Uh -huh. oh, oh, he just hit the brown. How? I have to watch the replay. Oh, I have man. to watch that. How did that happen? And mm. he will be devastated. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I'm watching the replay. Did he miss Q? And the answer is, we're watching. Let's see. We're watching the replay. Yeah. Oh, no. now this is interesting. He oversighted going through the gap and hitting the brown. Oh my God. So he's, he, he's looked down at the shot and he forgot the brown was there. Yes, absolutely. I've, that's the first time in history over 50 world championships I've commentated on. Never seen that. Unbelievable. It is. 
Unforgettable by the way. Bank card should capitalize ticket. Cause you have got a lot of plenty of open reds. Pankash is breathing. He's controlling his body. Great. He get to breathe, by the way. Oh, he's going to die. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of players tend to take deep breaths before they take that <laughs> oh, pressure okay, shot. Yeah, 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 That's okay. what I mean. All oh, right. Yeah, I got you now. Yes, because... Uh, <laughs> That's one of the most... <laughs> and away we go. Yeah. You know? Because he's trying to control his uh, heart rate. A lot of players get excited, which I do, when you get an opportunity and it completely does two things, oh, it happens or it doesn't happen. But Pankash is slowing down his heart rate to, to make sure he's calm. Sorry to say that. I totally understand now what you mean by breathing. Because normally if you ask a French guy what you do for a living, you know what he'll tell you. I eat and breathe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. Yeah, of course, that's fine. So, what do you think? How much can he make out of this opportunity at the moment? I don't know. I really don't. He just need the black to get back on the spot. Few shot. Yeah, there we go. Definitely you do. And this natural angle just put the black in. It will be open to both pockets. Do you, do you know what I feel? Yeah. He's going to miss it. That's how I feel. He's got really? to hit, yeah. He's got to hit it perfect. If I see him miss them. And oh, there, there we go. Like Commentator's it. course. Come on. Unbelievable. Oh, wow. How did I know that? And, wow. and that's why I do commentary. I can feel the shot. And um, it, it. I never thought he would miss it. Exactly. That's I why, never thought he'll miss that's it. That's why I'm. A commentator. Uh, yeah, that's why you are. <laughs> <laughs> now, I, I, the reason why I could feel that shot. Look at the replay. Look at the replay there. Yeah. yeah. Definitely. We've just seen the replay. He just there. took his eyes off the pot. Exactly. What, what, what I tend to do um, is feel the shots. It's, a, uh, it's an ability I have. It's not luck. It, it's um, just one of those things. But, you know, it. I can sense of shots. Course, yeah. Not all the time. I can't get it right all the time, but I don't call it. Sometimes when I say, oh, there's a plant there, the player doesn't see it, and then he plays a plant, oh, I didn't see that. So, you know, you're just monitoring how you feel the player. I get mentally drained uh, because I'm in the player's shoes, how I would play the shot. Um, that's how yeah. I look at it. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Sometimes you could sense, you could feel it. Yes. You could see. Yeah. And just you, you called it before even he played. Yeah. It's just having it's just having that ability to do that. Like I said, it, it does happen. Let me tell you one thing now. Go ahead. If Munir now make good contribution on this, make a good break, I think Pankaj will be under extreme pressure. I think the opposite. I believe it will improve his game. Really? Yeah. Warriors, world champions know the eye of the tiger is coming. And when you're a champion of the world like he is, he's saying the challenger. That's true. I'm coming back. That's and then, absolutely then true. Then you've got to be ready and motivated. And this will spark his game to unmissable. But you mm. are right. And it does the reverse for Miller to get going Absolutely. and have confidence. In a perfect position. Let's see how much can he make out of it. I'm looking at the replay. The amazing pot. With the amazing yeah, position. Sorry about that. Yeah, got it covered. I don't know. I've got just a sense Munir is so confident. Now, I'm going to ask you a couple of questions. Uh, now we, and this is the one where why he's cleaning the cue ball. I'm going to go in. Uh, what What's your reason why the cue ball is kicking so much? 
I'm not sure really, but the thing is, do they use this? The both they use this new chalk, storm chalk, something like that. So what? I don't see a lot of kicks at the moment, but you've been here more than me, so you've seen a lot of incident. But eight um, uh, kicks in one in frame, one match in a match. I don't know. Yeah, is it the like humanity? Or? Match. I'm not sure. I'm gonna yeah. go for. Yeah, you tell me. The moisture the setup um we talked about the players are sitting in the fridge and i believe in my opinion the chalk sticks to the cue ball i absolutely totally agree with you let me tell you something in this part of the world i think i've been playing i haven't been playing in a tournament so much I think the Tom Chalk, they don't work the right way because of what you say, the moisture and the humidity. It's not like Europe. You know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I know where you're coming from. Yes. But on the other hand, let me tell you this. In summertime, I think the Tom Chalk is the best joke for us here. It's this type of here, exactly, where I don't know because if you open the door, it changed completely there. Exactly. Exactly. The, yeah. the moisture. Yeah. And what people might not understand, ladies and gentlemen, the heat. They are playing in an oven. The heat of the table is, is like a hot Oh, my rod. God. He's snooker himself. No, he's lucky. The heat of the table is like a hot water bottle. The heat above your head is like an oven. And when you're sitting down, you're in a fridge. Absolutely. And it all affects the balls. It does affect so much. I told you this guy is just playing Dangerous. so well. He Dangerous. is. He is. Ruthless. Yeah. Unbelievable. And look at the points. Yeah. 36 I told eight. you. You you got me covered. Yeah. yeah you got, you got me covered, yeah. He just and he's all the time he's perfect position. It's a machine. He's amazing. Let's yeah. see. Now, he's taking this red on to the middle. And watch how he plays it. He's going to hold the cue ball perfect. There it is. What a shot. An amazing shot. How difficult is that? I've seen world champions miss that Miss the shot. eye. I'm telling you, he's skewing so well. Oh, oh my god, what, what a, a shot. shot. Did you see the U-turn oh, on the cue ball? Oh, it's just... Oh. He's smiling to himself because he knows that that red... Yeah. And is that a plant into the middle? I think it is. For security, he's got to get this red. Oh, oh, he missed it. Oh, he dumped down on the cue ball. Unbelievable. He's so unlucky. The previous shot, you know? From blue to red. To a, just, is it a plant? Yeah, I'm looking at it. Let's see. Pankaj haven't spotted it or he cannot see it. You see, there we go. Now, the points. Now, this is how I do the point system 49 plays 8. It's 41 ahead. Yeah, 41 ahead. Now, this red behind the black, the, the three cluster. Is Muller going to start pushing colours safe? Over to you. It's 63 on at the moment with 40, 41 point ahead. So this guy... I know you. Uh, amazing. What a shot. Okay, let's see now. Is the ahead. plant in the middle? If it's plant... He's looking at it. Yeah, he does. He's got it. I call this in the pool world the dead weight shot. It's got to go in on the last turn. It can't go in too hard. He would lose a position. Yeah. Unfortunately, he need to hit them hard. Do you, do you feel that that's the one? Ooh. I'll be just happy to just roll into it and then play safe, get those points. But you are right. Yeah. Let me tell you what you're going to do. Please do, because I am going to yeah. play. He have to hit the bottom red 
Which one? The bottom red. Behind the black? No, the two plant. You have to hit. Oh, you're making yeah. the plant. Okay, yeah, the go plant. over to you. Yeah, he will hit the red. So maybe. On the right hand side. 20 to 7? Yes, no, on the right hand side. So yeah. the cue ball will go toward what he's doing. Please Reverse tell me. it. Oh, he's screwing back. Yeah, he's you see it. there. Yeah, there, there we go. He's done it. Yeah. He's done it. Absolutely. And what I meant by 20 to 7 was on the red. Mm. So what I usually do on the pool ball, because we got spots, I wish you guys had spots on the snooker balls because I know where he's going with the side. Now, so we, on the cue ball, you tend to use the, the clock. Obviously, 12 forward, back, 6, 9 to the left, 3 to the right. But when it gets interesting, the side you do... I tend to use the time scale on the cue ball. Okay, board. yeah, yeah, yeah. 20 to 7. Yeah. Oh, okay, got you. So you do 20 yeah, to yeah. 7 on the object ball. Yes. And that's how you do it in the alignment. But there's something I want to say very quickly while the camera's there. See the two gentlemen, I had breakfast with them as well, um, from Sri Lanka. Mm. He's the most natural snooker player I've ever seen in over 50 world championships. This gentleman here with yeah. the black t shirt. What a natural really? ability. Yes. I haven't but, seen him. Oh. Incredible. Did he pass? Was he on the tournament? Yes, but he, he lost. He didn't qualify. Oh. But he just gets down. He has a, He just pots the balls. He doesn't uh -huh. even look. He just goes bang, 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 bang. Okay, let's go in this situation. Okay. Let's be honest. Cue ball cleaned again. I get, yeah. That's they know times. it. They know it. They can see. Yeah, you're absolutely like. I think the chalk stick on the cue ball. Yeah. So, uh, Pankrat Caliber sh should finish the, the table with no such a hardness in it because everything is open. What do you think? Pressure. That's what I think. Oh, oh he he's moved. The, yeah, I told he you. Moved. A lot of body movement in his How shot. How has he got it? He's under pressure. He is. So, he has to. Now, the advice I can give, I have to listen to myself sometimes. Don't move on your cue action. Ooh, he is getting into it. Look. He's taking big breaths. He is pushing his body. Don't move on your cue action. And uh, you've got yourself a chance and you're still at the table. But isn't he feeling the pressure? Absolutely, you could tell. Look at the three, three reds, three blacks isn't a problem, but uh, he's picking the point. He's not going pink and blue. He's trying to catch up. And that's what he's using is the scoreboard. But then you're ex when people do the maths on the table, I don't do that. Because the points available, say there's 50 points on available. So you have to get blacks all the time, but you ain't gonna get the blacks all the time. No. So I'm not really sure how they're gonna do the maths on that area. Does he have an angle to Absolutely. screw back? Absolutely. He's going to hold it. He can pinch the angle and take the red. Which way is he going? Yeah, I thought it was the middle. I'm telling you, he have no reason to not clear this table at the moment. I do. Do you think so? Tremendous pressure. It is, but let's... It's quick. easy, yeah, but it's easy, but he's got to do it, and that's the difference. Mm -hmm. Everything looks easy, and he's taking his time. Now, this pink... How many world champion does he have? Nine, ten? Yeah. Uh, it should be easy for him. No, nothing's easy. It's nothing easy, but... But you are right for his ability, but on the day... But the knockout stages, every, he's having the cue ball cleaned. Up, uh, for the second time in just three shots. Never seen, yeah, like I said, I've seen eight eight times in the previous match with Pankash in the opening session. You're not going. No. You're staying. You've got to stay with the match. So this blue, this is how I do it. Hold for the blue. Up and down for the yellow. He's under hit it. He's under hit it. He wanted to be f 
far down the table. Yes, it looks perfect, but he wanted to be another inch down to screw back. But now this is such a hard shot. Oh, he just missed the brown. If he touched that brown, yeah, the sigh of relief there. Watch the body language. Watch the cue action. This is the shot. This is the from the green to action. Green. This is the shot. Amazing. Has he, has he got it? Has yeah, he? yeah, yeah. He's, but he need to play it with the rest. I'm not going to say it. Oh, look at that. He's taking the chalk Can I tell you something? Go ahead. He doesn't use it. No, I'm pretty sure he, he used to arm chalk. These new chalks. But the table looks messy, yeah? Yeah. You're right. It's like skid marks of the chalk. Yeah. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this brown, I call it the most precious shot in the game. Don't look at the scoreboard. That's the worst thing you can do. I've seen players miss so many times. Just clear the colours. Yeah, just clear the colours. And uh, there it there is. We go. There it is. That's what I'm saying, ladies and gentlemen. Don't look at the scoreboard. Play the shot Absolutely. and get on with it. I told you, you thought yeah. it was easy, but it isn't. It's not easy. You're absolutely right. And what I'm you know the shot you're going to play right now? Please tell me. I'm Over telling you, you're going to put the brown behind the, the black and he's going to take the cue ball there. There we go. There we go. Well spotted. Yeah. Well spotted. Me, I'm sorry, from a pool, point, a pool player's point of view, I'm going in for the double, I'm going all in. Oh, no, you can't do that. I've got to do it. No, That's how I would play it. I know. It's a different, completely different game. Yeah. Ali does it. Oh. Yeah, he is a pool player. Oh, I think he got to lose the frame. Oh, the turn. The yeah, turn yeah. there is yeah. to say he didn't want to do that. It's such a shame. Look at that. He's saying that. Brown to the blue will clinch the match. Yeah. All that work Pankash did, gone. But wait a minute, has he, he come high enough? Uh, he's absolutely pinpoint perfect. Will he? He use just needs the blue, yep, and the pink. But will he use the black to hold it? Or no, he's gonna use the cushion, I think. Okay. Or well, he hasn't got the angle, has he? Is the blue on the spot? Yeah. Yes, yeah, he's gonna stun it, use one cushion and come back for the pink. Oh, he... It's almost... Did it kick? Or... I thought he was gonna go into the black. No, he's not. So this pink to take a 2-1 lead against one of the greatest players in the world. He's done it. Ladies and gentlemen, you've just seen some incredible pressure on this game by the world champion. And what a steal came from Munir. This is what I was talking about. Could he do it under that sort of pressure? That's my question. No, he couldn't. No. I thought he should be able to finish those six red, five red, six color, which is open table. But as you said, you know what the pressure can do. And now, the feelings. Now, it was best of seven. Now it's best of four frame. And incidentally, in the crowd, uh, the gentleman to the right. Uh, in the denim jacket at the end, he is the official table fitter and he has put all the tables together, him and his team. Congratulations. Oh, where, where is he from? Wow, I, that's, that's the problem. I, I don't know. He's been, up, he's been here as long as I have. I've been in Qatar for 18 years. And yeah, but last time... Uh, yeah, I'm not too sure. See now. And he's the one who put all the tables together. 
Oh, okay. he's, the, he's the official table. Sp uh, sp I remember fitter. the other guy. What's his name? He used to put ta uh, the table fitter for the billiard federation. Yeah, I forget his name. I can't even remember. I know S one thing. Mm. In the staff canteen, yeah, we've got a four foot by six foot TV, and they're all watching us. Oh, serious? Yeah. <laughs> Well done but to the table fitters, yeah. whoever was there. <laughs> it's a you've been doing a great job. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I remember who's that Atiq? Yeah. Yeah. But this guy, uh, f first time I see him, I haven't saw him before. So we're just getting ready. I'm glad you're staying. We'll stay with us for the match. Yeah. Okay, let's I, stay for this. Please do, because the door can open after this match. Uh, we're getting Do they have break? Have we got any water? Yeah, we'll have a break. Yeah, we'll have a break. Okay, that's good. You're going to stay for the break? Yes. Okay, so we'll go to a piece for the break. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you've just joined us for the Asian Stuka Championships of 2024, the host nation Qatar Delta look, welcomes. Look, look, sorry to interrupt you. Munir going to go and go for his red. This is his strength, a long putting, this guy. No problem. Just watch him. And if you've just joined us, it's a great honor to have my good friend with me today. Not many people come into the commentary booth. Really? Yeah, they're terrified then, at the office. I, I Do don't you know. like our kitchen? It's amazing. <laughs> oh, seriously? Lovely. He just want to put more pressure on Pankaj. Normally he would attack. But why didn't he? Over to you. Why? Did, you're playing well. You're two one up. I would go for it. I sh he should. He had the angle. He had every. It's, it's, it's But basically, that's when you are down there. It's just. I don't know how to say it. This. You see the shot different. You see everything. There's exactly. decision you're taking. Because we are up here, we could make our own. You know what I mean? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So. Maybe he, he didn't like it or something like this. Or is it putting psychological pressure on yourself? I've, I've covered a couple areas, to be fair. Um, you put pressure on yourself and start disbelieving in the shot selection. And then all of a sudden you put one ball and you're unstoppable. And your belief and confidence comes back. No, he's made a human error, and that is one of them. He has left this red to the black right corner pocket. And the black does go past the red. So is he looking at that, do you feel? Yes, he's going to roll it. No. Oh, he's refused it. He refused it. What it, has happened? No, it's not easy because he was, I think, hampered by brown, something like this. So you. That's a better shot, to be fair. Yes, it's a good safety. Let me tell you one thing. I've Go seen him catch game through the years. He doesn't rush. Normally, what he used to do, drag his opponent down. Yes. And he beat them. He he never rush. He just wait for his opportunity and he attack. The last, I think, Asian champion, yeah, I commentated on. Yes. Pankaji was in the final. Yes. He haven't made 50 break. You remember? 50 uh, to 40. Absolutely. Yeah. His break was, and he, and he reached final, the final. And that's what, he hasn't got a, I, I don't think he's had a century. Oh, you might, uh, let me just check. Um, uh, let's have a look at Pankaji. No, I don't know, but I don't think so. No, I don't think he has. No. He got to... Oh, hang on. Is this center break? Right? Is that? Breaks. Let's have a look. We're just going to have a look at the breaks. What a what shot. What a shot. What a shot. Let's He's a that. very clever player. He just makes what, what need to be done and he... Aha. You made a century break? No. No, I told uh, that. You were right. Talk. Yes. We're going to go in, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Tournament record so far for Pankaj. 
54. There we go. 58. There we go. 60. That's it. 69. 85. And his highest break, 91. Yeah. And if you get a full house, yeah. bingo. Right. <laughs> now, this is interesting. He's taking on the brown. I got a feeling, I don't know why I'm going to say this, century break. Right at that early stage, I feel that the century's coming. He's starting to work. Yes, they're tied up. But he is determined to get a century break. And is it this one? Amazing shot. You've gone quiet. Yeah, let's wait feel, and see. Do you feel a century? Can you feel it or not? Look. Do you feel a century? No. I do. <laughs> let's bet on it. No, don't do that. <laughs> Never do that. Yeah. Because I'm, 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 if, uh, if, I'm, if he made a century, I'd buy you. Pepsi? Pepsi. Okay, can okay. I? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now, here we go. He's looking at a century, I can assure you. Looking at the blue here, coming up around the, the, the blue. No, you're going to stay on the black. Does it reach? Oh. He had a kick. Yeah. He's having the cue ball yeah, clean. Absolutely. I thought the red going to st stop on the pocket. So, what's your highest break? My highest break in snooker is 97. Over to you. What's your highest break? My God. 3147. While I was dreaming. Ooh. No, I never made a 147. I'm just joking. Yeah, what's your highest break? It's a hundred and I think seventeen. You're at the hundred club. Yeah. Yeah. I made something. just two centuries. Yeah, ninety-seven I made. But I am in Pankaj caliber, doing all this fifty, forty daily, <laughs> sixty-seven. <laughs> yeah. I'm doing the sevens and eights at the moment. Yeah, right. uh, Kata had a tournament and uh, I came third, but uh, yeah. Now, this is interesting, using the black to come across. He's got the angle. Yes. You want a photo of me? <laughs> yes, I had a lot of comment came in my page. By sure, the way. Rob, can you take a photo of that? Oh, yes. He wants a photo. There we go. Everybody has a photo with me. I'm very lucky. Yeah, you are the most famous Pepsi. Oh, by the way. This whatever ladies and gentlemen Thank we're just so having a, a selfie why? together oh, oh, he's he's just missed. a mr red yeah my central and break is gone but yeah there you said there we go there we go you do you like ice yeah you bet me for a century yeah. so i need my <laughs> cupcake or oh, a cupcake it is then <laughs> now <laughs> do you know why they called me pepsi Tell me why. I won the Pepsi uh, challenge in pool. It was a pool tournament sponsored ah. by Pepsi. And it only ever happened once, and it was when I was in my, I think it, oh, it must have been in my 20s. And uh, they ran a pool competition, an English eight ball, mm -hmm. and uh, whoever won the tournament, it only ever happened once, was called, uh, was called Pepsi. And I won the tournament, right. yeah. Back in my hometown, so What's that's why they call me Pepsi. Yeah, it, but it's a nice nickname, you know? Yeah. You are the most famous Pepsi I ever talked with. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> nice. So that's, and that's how I got my, it's a stage name for Pooh. You see how you miss the black? Yeah, it's, it's, it's down to nerves. There. Absolutely. I'm looking at his cue action. Mm. No, it's just. It's my cash missed the black. Yeah, no, Munir, he just miss. Absolutely. Always remember what my, do you know my favorite phrase? Yeah. The easy ones are the hardest ones to pop. Absolutely, totally agree. And I'm, I'm enjoying this game because it's going back and forward, and I'm surprised Pankash missed that red in the middle though. 
Have you got a stage name in the flute industry? Do yeah. you do you have names? Uh, stage? Yes, 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 yes. Um, um, I can't say mine at the moment. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, in my Instagram page, whoever listened, they can search for Flotest Oman. There you go. Yeah, and you could add me. You could see. Yeah. I'm okay. Not bad. That's okay. I can play a little bit here and there. When my wife started playing the flute, uh, she's a grade seven. Oh, I passed that one just two years since I catch the flute. Okay. I went to grade seven. And no, um, when she started playing it, yeah. I said to my wife, I said, Helen, where is the boat? The what? The boat. <laughs> it's like a boat, a boat coming in. <laughs> yeah, coming in. I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah I did. I couldn't believe it. I said, "Where's? Where, are we in a port?" <laughs> oh and she and we got five cats. Yeah. And um, have you got cats? No. Okay. Have you got a dog? No. Okay. So when you got cats, I've got a dog, bicycle. <laughs> <laughs> it goes through the cat's ears. Yes. The high pitch. Yes. And all you hear is my mm. wife going. Beep. And all of a sudden, the cats go meow, meow. <laughs> <laughs> it's amazing. Seriously, yeah, yeah. high pitch. And, the, and we haven't got a dog, but she has five cats, and they go meow. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah, uh, our boys are there. Yeah, right. we've been so loud. Can you believe that? Does she still? Mm, yeah, does she still playing? Yeah, the problem is our, our voice echoes through. Okay. No, I don't mean about the voice. I mean about the flute. Yeah. Is she still playing? Yes. Oh, okay, she still plays, yeah. yeah. She shouldn't stop. No. Now, with the black tied up with the green, where with the blue is really the high colour available. He have got a very good shot to come now. He can put him really in a spot of bother here. There we go. There we go. So no. he's using, using the green and, yeah, you and know. the black there. Look, I'm telling you one thing. I've seen this guy just for the last hour or so. He gonna attack. He gonna he should go for putting. He's going for it. He's got he to go for it. He's got to go for it. Oh, he missed it miles away there from the pocket. Do you know what you that said? shot they call in cricket? What? A wide. A wide. Have you seen his question? If you go, go back to the reply, oh. see his... If I can get him to get it, so we'll be gone. Just got it. Just having a look at the replay, ladies and gentlemen. You can identify what happened. But in the meantime, I think Ash has got this red to the corner. I think Ash is moving. Moving a lot. Yeah. Oh, we're looking at the replay. Yeah. Over to you. Is Q actually? Yeah, look, look at the Q. Look at the Q. You see? It yeah. went across. He did. Yeah, That's he went across it. Yeah. But Pankash is moving slightly, isn't he? He is, but as long he's as he's not settled. No, as long he's as he delivers straight, that doesn't matter. He moves. By the way, he moves after the shot. Yeah. Not while he's stroking the cue ball. Yeah. Look at him. He has slight movement after okay. the shot. Let's have a look at this. Look at that. Even this shot, which is, to be honest, a simple shot, but you'll see his movement after. Yeah. No, he didn't move on this one. So it's just down I to... I think the, the power shot, he does that with them. Is it down to consistency, um, trying to maintain the body? I, I tried to cover this area yesterday where players tend to play three or four hours. You can't really practice that. You're in your local club a different atmosphere uh, unless you have a mansion and you've got the size of the lights 
and you've got a lot of money for the light bill mm. what i'm explaining to practice these conditions it can only be down to tournament tournament play it, and then you maintain that so they come in with the best what they have mm. and the conditions are changing Absolutely. and it affects yeah, the yeah, body it does it does You know what Steve Davis said? Sorry? You know what Steve Davis said? No. You can be a just a better player by just keep your head still. Oh, do you know what they used to do? They used to put a, a, a pint of uh, a glass of water above your head. Really? Yeah, just so you don't move your head. And if you spilt the water, it would be filled to the brim. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah. First time I heard that. Yeah. Here's a bit of history for you. Mm. Why is the snooker cue at the end of the bat tapered in? At the end of the cue, yeah, it, it's like got a divot. Yeah. Do what do you call chamfer or what? Yeah. I'm not sure why. Many years ago, when they developed the billiard game, they used the cue opposite way around. Pardon? They scoop the cue ball. Really? Yeah. They scoop it. Yeah. And that's why it's a tradition to have the scoop in the queue. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah? Yeah, that's something new. And the queue would be much longer than that. So they would stand upright mm. and they wouldn't bend down. So it would be a scoop and they would scoop the cue ball. Oh my God. I'm glad this changed before I... <laughs> yeah, see, yeah. Here's another yeah. interesting fact for you. Mm. We don't have heated tables on the pool table. Yeah, there's no heater on there. Yeah, I've never seen a heater yeah, on the pool uh, table. Uh, on the pool table. No. I Are you sure? Yeah, I've never seen one. I've never played on one in over roughly about 40 years. I've never played on one. No, they might do it somewhere, but I've never played on one, not in any tournaments. You know what? Yeah, you, you're absolutely right. You know better because I'm about to buy. No, I'm not going to say it now. I shouldn't say it. Like, because I, I know everything about snooker table. I don't know nothing about billiard table. And we Pool table, I don't know anything. In, in, in English eight ball, we used to have a speed cloth. Um, now they use the same snooker cloth, like a nap cloth with the fingerprints. And now they're just adjusting to another cloth, as, as a very fast cloth. We used to play on speed cloths. So you just touch the ball and it goes in. It is. Yeah. Now on the, on, the, on the American pool table, they have a beautiful cloth, very slick cloth. And it's identical to a speed cloth, to be fair. But when we come to the snooker tablecloth, you see all the finger marks. As soon as that cue ball goes into the finger marks, it deviates yeah. at a slow speed. Exactly, it does that. So we never had that. Mm. I was in uh, Georgia um, and because I won a competition, and I played on a pyramid table. Pyramid? Yeah, I had to do a show on a pyramid show. Uh, they said, oh, ladies and gentlemen, Patsy's here to, uh, to play on a first time on a pyramid table. I couldn't put a ball because the pocket's so tight mm. and the angle of the table was completely throwing me out and the cue I was using was over six foot mm. and I and they gave me they presented me with a, 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 a pyramid uh, sorry a, the, the Russian billiards they play and um, it was such a different game so pyramid snooker table is completely different to this it is you want to try that sometime I will try that if you ever get to a pyramid table, you have 15 whites. 15 whites. Seriously? Yeah. I couldn't understand any of it. I just... Send me a picture of that table. No, you can go on YouTube, pyramid. Yes, yeah, I will, I will YouTube. It. Yeah. I couldn't uh, do anything. I just went and said, nice to meet everybody. <laughs> <laughs> so all these uh, different aspects of a snooker table are completely different. But the Araka Classic M1 is right up there with the best in the world. It is. And um, do you have any idea about the? You remember the world champion? They played on 
Russell, yeah? Yes, they did. Russell. Yeah. yeah. How they react? Everything was just oh, that's a good oh, shot. Oh, that's amazing shot. They all react beautiful. It's it's all it's all down to the players. But one thing about it is the same playing field for both players as well. So I spoke to Pan Cash and he said to me about the conditions. You have to adjust to how they play, how how the table plays, and you just adjust to it. Absolutely. I remember playing on snooker tables with no metal plate, and the reaction of the cue ball is different. And yeah. I played on here, bang, bang, it's very springy because they've got nice metal plates, the conditions are different, the pockets are tight. So it just goes to show you have to adjust to the table and the condition. Absolutely. So now. Look at the scoreboard. He's a bit far behind. Oh, he's still way behind. Is he gonna go for it? Let's pink into the corner. He's got to hit it in the heart. Oh, sorry, the red. And he missed that one. Did he get away with it? I don't think so. So he will be disappointed because the points are 54, place 56, 52 ahead, plus these two reds in the open. So we'll be in the 60s. And you then just need two reds, two colours. Yeah. Any colour will do. And they'll leave those two reds glued together and go to the ball carrier, and he's won the frame. That's and it. two apiece, race to seven, uh, best of seven. Yeah, I think it will become best of three. Yeah. Are you going to come back after the interview? I'll do. I'll see how things go. I hope you do. To be quite honest, I had fun. I had a pleasure. It's amazing, you know? I know we're a bit excited, but uh, that's what we do. We bounce off each other. But um, it's always an honour to see you again. And you're looking well, by the way. Thank you so much. And, uh, Doing so much cycling exercise. Not too much playing snooker. And I wish you all the best in your success in the flute. Oh, thanks. And on behalf of Cathy Billiard Federation, thank you so much for joining me. It's my pleasure. You're well, this door is open, but when you're here, it will be locked. No worries. I'll be. Uh, I hope you. I'll be around. Of course. But in the meantime, it, ladies yeah. and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining me. Join us very shortly after the interval. It's two apiece while we go into a commercial break. That's goodbye from me. And from me. Bye bye. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Come out this way. We're going. Above the heart of Doha, where history is about to be made. Above the heart of Doha, where history is about to be made.
from the heart of Doha, where history is about to be made. From the heart of Doha, where history is about to be made. Well, ladies and gentlemen, to the fans in attendance and to the fans around the world, welcome my special guest, Asha, from India. Thank you very much. Well, first of all, it's a great honour to have you in my studio. You are the Indian coach. Tell us, please, what is happening? Uh, it's a great match, uh, evenly poised. And uh, both the players, you know, they're capitalizing on every opportunity that they get. And both showing good game, overall game, you know. Now, I've often seen you in many tournaments. And uh, not only is it an honor, you to be here I've often talked about uh, the players abilities how they've improved and I've gone for the pancash pinpoint accuracy 
He hasn't performed well, but he's won two incredible games to come back into. Has he improved his game from your point of view and how much does he want this title? Uh, I'm surprised by the hunger of Pankaj Advani. You know, after winning so many world titles, 27 world titles and so many Asian titles, Asian championships, uh, I'm surprised by the hunger of the man. And uh, every time he plays, he he wants to win the title so badly. And uh, he's not... Is his age is growing? He's growing every year by, and then on the way, if you just think about it, he's not getting young anymore. He's getting older, and even after that, he is not satisfied with his performance. He wants to improve every time. So that's great credit to yeah. your country, and he has got the stage as the ultimate billiard player and snooker player as well many world titles if you just mentioned i feel that the way he's playing more determined his highest break is into the 91 in the tournament he hasn't got the centuries and he's so in trying so hard for the centuries and the way i see his game is pinpoint accuracy he's still trying to make it happen and yeah. he was leading to uh one and when the score was one all yes it and was. he missed a brown of the la last brown of the rest and there was a gentleman who just walked past at that time and oh, he no. got disturbed and he walked around he got up he walked around he tried to come into the group he was in a good flow in the, he was on a break of 50 and you know and he got disturbed because of that and he missed the brown and he lost the frame uh, unfortunately so he was two one down and he played well in the last frame made it two all and this is a very crucial frame if you if anybody can understand a very very crucial frame you know anybody who wins that has a slight edge over the other one because it's a best of it's a very small format best of seven so uh, three two lead is quite substantial uh, in the overall scenario of the game and how is india now you're the head coach of india how, how is all your players performed in this tournament so far uh we sent a team of four players uh, one is ishpreet singh of course he's the playing the pro circuit he's a very good player and he, he's beaten Stuart Bingham twice and Luca Breckel and uh, he's he's a top gunner for the title he's a top man uh, with the way he's performing at the pro circuit so he's he plays at around three o'clock Qatar time and uh, after this match and uh, of course Pankaj Ramani is there and they, we had two more players who performed well in the nationals and they were on the international scene for the first time in the seniors and uh, it's a good learning experience for them you know it's not easy to perform at the big stage uh, all of a sudden you come in and you play on a brand new table where the conditions are not what you get in india you know the conditions is totally different the cloth is different the table is different and to adjust to certain kind of conditions it, it takes time you know and a lot of exposure and uh, experience and th that's why you know uh, pankaj and ishpreet are the best bet from india because they have a lot of exposure a lot of experience behind them and being in that being the coach has been a uh, big journey for you yeah, to get these players your apprentices to this level we, we we try and give them the best and you know the best of the uh, facilities that is available but still uh, you need a lot of exposure and experience to perform at this at this stage you know if if you see the last in november how did ali over ali play he won the world title and he was a semi-finalist in the other one. That's so correct. And after so many years, Qatar has won the title and, you know, on the world stage. And perseverance pays. Exactly. That is what it is. You know, they, they, they kept 
uh, you know promoting him they kept promoting the, all the Qatar players and they kept uh, they gave, giving the chances and you know that that's how he, over a period of time he's built so much of this game I've seen him Im improve from lengths yeah. and you can see the result it's coming every time you know and this tournament also in the after the reseeding is the top seed so you can make out you know that that if you stick with the player for a longer time and give him all the facility give him all the uh, infrastructure that is needed they will perform in some time well said and what do you think of the venue venue uh, in in qatar we are always at home uh, th there's no doubt about it you know at, it can be any hotel where we are playing it can be la Mason, it can be al masila it can be isdan palace what the QBSF does is give players almost the same kind of infrastructure every time and that helps in the players performance as well you know they try and g make them you know feel at home and uh, you know it's it's home away from home exactly and and what do you think of the weather at the moment oh lovely it's very cold it's uh, very pleasant uh, uh, and what you know if you see the uh, timing of the event is it could not be any any better and maybe in march april and may is it will be slightly or it will be hot but inside the venue uh, well, uh, any any uh, any venue which qbsf chooses the air conditioning the system it's all great outside it's all natural you can't help whatever the temperature you have to adjust but players this is a sport which is played inside a venue where air conditioned hall where everything is so cozy for the players so they don't, they don't have to do anything extra they just have to go and play it the atmosphere is such great and we saw an incredible match with pankash the uh yesterday and he won on the decider and what a, a thriller that was yeah. It and you were there of course i was there watching and being the coach i always watch my players play very closely and and the hats off to the pakistani players also they've they've come of age they are pre performing well on the big screen on the big uh, tournaments as well and uh, their their game has improved since Mohammad yusuf won the first world championship title for them and after that they won many world championship titles so hats off to P uh, pakistan billiards and snooker association as well as we watch the red uh, that was slightly the luck uh, unfortunate for pankaj that he's left the red in the center is the kiss on the green but it's all right you know it's, it's the white <laughs> yeah, so this is where this is where because uh that's good fortune and yes he's apologized to pankaj because he was uh avais munir was not aware whether white would end up after hitting the jaw so that way and the if you see the five or six reds if we can capitalize and already has a lead of around 13 points if we can capitalize on this five or six reds the lead can go up to easily can go up to 40 points so this is a very crucial break for Aves and uh, Pankaj will have to wait for some time because a lot of quite a balls are which are open let's see how Aves goes about it and the way he's playing is very strong yeah but he hasn't got a century break in the tournament you don't require a century you just require 50 60 points break and you know uh, or maybe two breaks of 40 each you don't require a century if it, it can come anytime it can come but what you require is points on the table and you know you just need to hit a uh, 25 hours uh, good safety and another 25 30 points and the frame is yours so and century if it comes well and good otherwise you just chip in with small breaks and good good safety play and you should be okay one i i often talk about areas of the game and i'm glad we got a professional coach here what now at, at the interval when it was 2-2 does your player come and speak to you he or if it happens yeah. you have time over to you i uh, know uh, what happens is i just went out with pankaj uh, it was a small break 
I just told him to keep it simple as it comes and just keep it very simple. Don't try anything extraordinary. Whatever you get, just capitalize. Wow. That's what, you know, you don't need to try anything extra. You just play the game according to how it is coming. It's It was unfortunate that the red kissed the green and, you know, he sold him on, on the center pocket, number five pocket. Yes. So that was unfortunate. And, you know, it, it now you just sit and relax and wait <coughs> till your opponent gives you another chance. Oh, we're too loud. Yeah. Well, yeah, we're a bit too loud. Pankash has okay. just indicated yeah. we're a bit too loud. Okay. This, this. Yeah, he's right there. We have to just tilt down right. a bit. Yeah, Pankash can hear us. We apologise, ladies and gentlemen. Um, our voice just a bit too loud. Now, what you have is a nice break here as the points disappear. There can be a chance coming for Pankaj because from the blue he has to oh, you know, negotiate the ball in such a way that he can get it for the next red. That won't be that easy. Thank you for your voice. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. I tried to come in behind the wall. Yeah, like see. That's a nice shot. He is he's fortunate that he's got a straight red in the number one pocket, yellow pocket. Yeah. And that's Ooh, that I, yeah. I've, I've just learned something there. I heard you say five and I heard you say one. So how do you, from a professional coach point of view, so we, you, that's I go... The yellow pocket is the number one pocket. Yeah. And this next pocket on the left hand side center pocket is the is the uh, number two and the pocket near the black left side of the black is good shot it's a great shot is so the number three pocket okay. and the right hand side black spot is the number four five in the center and the green pocket near the green spot is the number six pocket i've learned something thank yeah. you very much for that and what an opening it's a it's a great it's a great great shot last two shots have been great and this this can be a frame clincher lead of 41 and all the balls are there in open this can be a century break as well and the way he's playing it's tremendous form He's not scared by any means. Yeah, he's, he keeps the game quite simple. Now he just relaxes in the, in the walk and uh, what do you say? Uh, around the table, uh, he's not phased. afraid. He's, he's, yeah, he's not phased quite by poised. Anything. And he, he likes to keep the game simple and that's what goes in his favour. And fortune favors the brave, that is the saying that goes. Uh, he had two fortunes, one pink, uh, the r first red which came in the center pocket, and after potting the blue, he got the red in the number one pocket. And that's where now the, he, the break continues. Exactly, coming in behind. And taking it to the yellow pocket has allowed him and to go that forward. That was a great shot that he played. He's looking in tremendous form. He's, is he starting to believe in himself he can make this happen? It is. The, the frame is his now. The if, if anything, if he misses, then it's a different story. Otherwise, uh, there is no way he can lose this frame with a lead of around 63 points and uh, 67 on table. So he just needs the red. And the frame is his. Pankash, how would you see Pankash coming back into this match? Oh, he's a he's been a fighter. There's no doubt about it. You know, he doesn't leave it till the last, and uh, it's okay that you no know, one frame where he could have made a two-one lead and he could have been leading three-one, but then that person he that person 
you know he just walked past when he was play, playing the brown and he missed uh, the brown and he lost the frame it two one down made it two all now uh, this three two down uh, still a lot of time two frames but i love the way abhas munir is playing yeah uh, mother yeah, put in a great he, performance uh, yeah is uh, very simple no hanky panky just you know just go around the table doesn't try too much just likes to keep it very simple you can see his walk you can see him walking and you know just keeping it quite simple there is no hastiness in his game takes his own sweet time yes and that all helps in, you know that shows a lot of confidence that he has in him they say the hardest frame to win is the match frame but the way he's playing is in tremendous form yeah but uh, and will he see it as a problem or will he see no. it as a victory frame the frame is his it's just that how many points he can he can he make a century break here and he's already on a break of 73 74 break so century is there and this will be his first century if he achieves it in the tournament yeah he just needs to pot the black and negotiate for the red in the center pocket Well, Pankash blank this frame out the way and say, let's move on to the next frame. You have to forget what has happened in the last frame. Yes. He has to forget that. He cannot, you know, keep that thought in the mind. And he has to forget the last frame that, you know, the slight, it, he was unfortunate uh, on two occasions. But then uh, hats off to Awaiz Munir for uh, what you say, capitalizing on what the opportunity that was provided yeah. to him taking the initiative and moving on as we watch the century coming up very shortly but it's been a great performance and Pankash has to try and get his focus back for the next frame yeah we, we just have to move on you can't you know, let go of what has it is just that you let go of what has happened and just it's try and keep a uh, clear mind and uh, and focus on the na frame that is coming hmm. you can't do much here because he's made a break of you know you sold him the red in the center pocket and he's made a break of 99 and another 13 points it's so important to remember that's the seven you can't afford to make a mistake as this young man that's 105 good break and another seven so 112 clearance that's what i could see the century coming you saw it well yeah. and that's why you're a professional coach so how is pankash going to respond you just uh, know, wait for your chance you know he had a couple of chances in between and the you must uh, give credit to this man you know he played he is replied back to Pankaj's safety Pankaj being a multiple times world champion in billiards he, he his safety is outstanding but then if you can you know reply to his safety then you can create a chances your chances and um, what's the future for you uh, this year have you got any more tournaments coming up uh, well there are so many tournaments that is lined up in the Asian and the world so I will be traveling with the Indian team to most of the uh, my one of my coaches is not well and uh, I hope he 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 gets well very soon and then he's able to the doctors gave him the clearance to travel he was not well uh, just last week and you know Manoj Kothari yeah. and uh, so if he if the doctors gave him the clearance he might travel also with the along with the Indian team he is also a very very good coach and he's been traveling with the Indian team for the last almost 20 years now I played under him as a coach 
you know as a player when he was a coach of the indian team so you, you when, when any senior player travels with you as a coach uh, you try to gain a lot of knowledge that he is achieved by playing uh, in during his time and then he is always there to impart that knowledge to you so i hope he gets well very soon and he is able to travel well but have can to be the federation we wish him all the best in a speedy recovery yeah so as we come now, ladies and gentlemen, frame number six. If you've just joined us, Pankash is under tremendous pressure. He has to win this frame to stay in the tournament. And as you can see, that break off. He's only done it once, I've seen. Married it in behind the green. In the break off on the TV table. But this long red... Over to you, coach. Yeah, it is a, he can try a screw pot and a screw back. You know, it's a shot to nothing kind of a shot and screw it back to the brown or the green. You see? Uh, this is this kind of shots are not easy. You know, he's left Pankaj on the first chance. But you after losing a frame when you're down in best of seven, every shot becomes crucial so Pankaj has to negotiate a very good shot here he's trying to focus as much as he can he's got a lot of experience behind him there is no doubt about it beautiful it's a great shot beautiful but you need to continue from here you know you, you negotiated a good shot and there are quite a few uh, black is going in one pocket and you know there are quite a few reds that is open and you know you need to negotiate the black in such a way uh, the one red if you can negotiate the one which is just above the black on the right if you can you can open the black in both the pockets and then you can continue so oh. He needs to build the break, you know, take all this five or six reds. It's like, it's kind of a percentage snooker, you know, whatever the available reds, you pot those with the brown, uh, with the bl blue and uh, the black. Pankaj has missed the easy ones today. He hasn't really performed to the standard he's more than capable of doing because it's a different he's day he's come on the wrong side of the yeah. yellow so he needs to go all around again and come in is he trying to hold no, the he, red he, for he the black yeah possibly soft screw and you know hold it for the red that's a bad shot yeah i i saw this um happen in the tournament players tend to Snooker themselves behind the it's color. Uh, uh, now he doesn't have any other option or the see the first opportunity came Pankaj's way and he just garnered eight points. So this is a survival game. You often talk about twenties and thirties. Uh, oh that's a good safety. That's a great safety oh, shot. Wow. There is there there are quite safety options available for Avaiz Munir. He's trying one of them that is available where the red can handball can come down. But he's see there's another fortune, you know, for Avaiz. Uh, otherwise, if the white yeah see he's apologized. Uh, if the white had not touched the yellow, uh, the white would have come back for Pankaj near the blue spot or something. And the presentation here from Bangash is coming down to have a look. Very important shot this is. Which way would you go, coach? Take the red on to the right? There is a, this, I don't know, there is, there's a safety angle available here. He, you know, he's just playing this red. Uh, just playing, uh, trying to keep the handball near the cushion. Just yeah. follow it slowly. That's the shot. And there's no other way out with over from there. Well spotted coach. I didn't yeah. see that one. Uh, still uh, the white should have been very close to the cushion. 
So it has come off two, three or four inches ahead. So will he take this on, coach, to the middle and come out for the blue? Or he has to play safety again. Near okay. The, behind the yellow. So behind the yellow. Of two cushions. That's why you're the coach. That is why you're a professional coach for India. And, you know, you have to keep your opponent in tight corners whenever you can, you know, and you, especially when you have a lead of uh, a, th a frame lead and a best of seven at three two you're leading and your opponent missed on the first occasion, first opportunity that has lost, that he's lost. He got it and he lost it at eight points. So, it's always better to keep your open tight corners. The determination on Pankash, trying to turn that cue ball with his body, and he's let he's it slip. Yeah, the, the, he's played, he tried to hit the red a little thicker, but he got a thin contact, he's left always on with the pink in the center, black going on both the sides, but there is one red that is available in the center, one on the bottom right, one on the bottom left. He's got quite a few options available there. So this red to the left corner to hold for the black. Would it be holding for no, the black coach? Uh, the pink. Pink the is going in the center pocket. And he's come for the black. Yeah, so he will have to negotiate from there. Uh, he's created a good angle on the black. So. And it gets re spotted. And will it tie up the three reds? Uh, see, oh, he missed. This is, this is a great chance for Pankaj, you know. He's asked the referee to clean the ball as if, you know, the ball must have kicked or whatever it is. That's about and that's a great opportunity, missed opportunity for a... And Pankaj, it's a great opportunity where he can... You know, there's so many reds available. This is the second chance in the frame where he can create a, a, a big score from here. But coach... The easy ones are hardest, but that wasn't easy by any means. He's had a kick, and he's indicated to Pankaj that uh, I was going to get that and start running away with the frame and qualify for the quarterfinals. But right now... It's not over till it's over. Exactly, uh, coach. So exactly. you have to put the last ball in, and uh, that one century break can only get you one frame. You have to keep hitting exactly. and keep creating your uh, scores where you make uh, the frames. Look at the you're right, coach. He knows that the determination has to play a major part to win this frame. And then he's got to go again. So, you know, Pankaj is trying the ball, but the white is traveling. He has been saying to me that, you know, the white doesn't seem to stop it just keeps traveling why and is that that's why he says it's difficult on the tv table the rest of the table is okay but the tv table the white just keeps on traveling either it is short or sometimes it is traveling too much so he says that and uh, he brought this ball for the black but he has to take the green instead so coach why is that is it I, I, my theory is it's a heated table, so it's a hot water bottle. But the pl players have to adapt to the condition that has been provided by the organizers. Yes. So, you know, uh, it's the same for both the players. It's exactly. The Level playing field. Yeah. So, now with the green, he should have come for the red. Which red? Uh, which red was he going? Now he has to take... Oh, this one to the left? Yeah, it, it's not going. So, he has to t try a shot to nothing, you know, where he can try a pot and play safety there it's a short shot to nothing kind of a shot <sighs> he's missed, he's missed it the coach. but then the handball goes down near he sh handball should have gone a little more down say around seven or eight inches maybe more 
But it's okay. He's not left anything on major. So, coach, was that um, classified as a, a shot to nothing? Shot to nothing, yeah. A shot to nothing, okay. Yeah. What about that? That's a oh. good, that's a good shot, good reply. But again, there is one more red. If he can see that red, no. This the two reds yeah, together? Yeah, two red and near the black spot, the a thin one, or or there is one on the right side, if the near the left cushion. He can hit the ball thin. This one over here? Yeah, he can hit the ball thin. It's a, it's a billiard shot. So you hit the ball very thin with a little right hand side, it can come towards the yellow spot. Incredible performance. He's looking for the options there. He's calm and collective. This is where the advantage of billiards come in, you know, Pankaj. Yes. Or he's trying a pot, but you can't try a pot in this situation. I did the... If he's trying a pot, it's... Yeah, that's the shot. You will just hit the ball thin with little right hand side, extra thin. He's just see that shot. Yeah. Wow. He, he was fortunate to get that kiss, but it's all right. That's yeah. all part and parcel of the game. Well, coach, it's an honor to be with you. I couldn't see that one. Do you play uh, American pool? Uh, no. No. In India, there's not a lot of pool. There are good, some of them are good pool players, but it's only snooker and billiards in India. And the big question, I'm going to ask you a couple of questions. Have you ever played free cushion billiards? Yeah, I have played, but th that's a totally different game altogether. And you need to learn the nuances of the sport and uh, uh, you have to know how the balls react. Every cushion reacts differently. I've only ever played it once, and it was my favorite game. And I love yeah, free cushions. Uh, you have to see the ball, how yeah. it reacts. And uh, there's a lot of uh, you know players who play that sport. This, uh, he should, yeah. What it's a, a shot great coach. shot. It's a what great shot. It's a shot to nothing, you know. That's a, that's why he played that. And now he can give a very good snooker. The white is very close to the yellow. He just needs to touch the yellow very softly. You know, that's it. And you know, now how Avaiz Munir, you know, comes out of this tight corner that has been created by Pankaj. And that is, he has to now negotiate an angle, maybe two cushion, three cushion, one cushion, uh, no, minimum no. two cushion is required, one cushion there is no way he can come out, no. but you know, minimum two or three cushion he has to negotiate. And the second... I can, I can see an Sorry. angle... Uh, Please tell me where. where let me see. He's the, uh, between oh. the uh, cushion and the yeah. Oh yeah, he's looking at that angle, that yeah. side. But if he misses, but if he misses from there, then uh, he's going to sell the red in this corner pocket. So he has hit the ball very hard. Did he hit the pink, coach? He hit the pink. It's a foul, and the, it was. It is a lot of tension to for the referee. If Pankaj asks him <laughs> oh. to replace, oh, yes. so it is. Uh, I don't think Pankaj might. Uh, but uh, they can. If, if the ball is available, Pankaj might just take the ball, and you know, this red is available. He can take the red. Luckily for the referee, he is not asked for a replace. Do you referee as well, coach? I I have done a quite a bit of refereeing, and uh, uh, for both billiards and snooker. Okay. Yeah, in the pro circuit as well, I've done the refereeing for billiards. Wow. When I was not a pro pro player in myself uh, in 90, 92, 92, nice. 93 World Championships, I've done Mike Russell's, uh, some of his matches where he scored 600, 500, 700 breaks. And it's not easy, you know, to refer uh, matches of Mike Russell. 
because he's such a class player there is no doubt about his class and yeah. how many times world champion he is in i have never seen a better uh, billiards player let me Amazing. be on the court um, yeah, yeah. he's usually in the commentary yeah. booth with me there is no way on planet earth i will ever referee a snooker game because i don't know all the rules because there's so much to learn with the yeah um, uh, one of the questions the second question i was going to ask you the foul and the miss how do you feel about the foul and the miss system it's totally the discretion of the referee you know it's not compulsory to hit the red ball but if <gasps> it's a miss this is not expected of pankaj it's a straight wow. miss and he's given an opportunity again so this is where the pressure builds up of a knockout match and best of 7 you're down 3 2 you've only oh just you can see the frustration on pankaj's face and what does muni does what muni does from here fortunately for pankaj there is not uh, easy shot for munir the blue goes in the center the black goes into the center the cut but it's not easy to con if you cut the black it's not easy to control it he from the blue if he cuts yeah, he will have to ne- negotiate it around the cushion to cushion or then bring it for back for the next red so any shot from here black or the blue whatever munir chooses is not easy pink is stuck on the side cushion he is opting for the blue so i often call out a key ball but because pankash is just a few points ahead the key ball won't be playing a major part because of the balls in the open and down by the dragon on the bottom there on the behind the black spot that red is going to cause a problem this, this frame is going to last a little longer than what yeah. we expect because a lot of uh, balls they're not open and you know he avez munir should have come at least he should the white should have traveled another what to one and one or two feet but he's got a rest shot to negotiate here a screw back and you know come blue and black, black they are covered so where he comes lands after potting this ball that is important he has played a great shot but he has the timing on the shot has been such great that the white has gone near the cushion the timing of the screw and that uh, the shot he played so he, wa- he wanted to stop near the blue or the black but that the white has traveled anyways uh, he just has to pot the ball and where's the white gone it's disappeared yeah he should have seen that coming and when you play such kind of shots you should so that's what i said this frame there's a lot of left a lot of uh, game left in this frame uh, because Uh, the scores are slightly in favor of pankaj so and the balls are in placed in such a way that you can't run away with the frame coach this is pressure frame for pankaj fans and family yeah. that's a quick uh, another question is pankaj family watching this match they should be watching and uh, Uh, it's live on qbsf so they should be watching this match and uh, everybody is tense including me i am fortunate to watch it with you on tv over here it's either i watch it from inside the hall yeah or you know i watch it here it's the same story and i really so, yeah. honestly on behalf of cancer billet federation we say thank you for joining me because sometimes uh, as you know i'm doing the commentary 10 to 15 hours per day all on my own yeah. and we're getting to the later stages and uh, to have your ability of knowing out there and I thoroughly enjoy doing the commentary from a pool player's point of view See, as we watch no <laughs> my I word. will have to go outside after if if yes. Pankaj wins the frame I will have to go out and tell I've Pankaj is what he's making a mistake yes. he's twitching he twitched on the shot I didn't see that coach yeah. coach no, no. awesome Well so said. I I think I should you know just go out and tell him yeah that you know just stay down he is he got up he twitched on the red uh, what you're going to go now I think I should go out and tell him coach on behalf of Caterpillar Federation we say thank you for joining me in the commentary booth thank you and your that door is apart from that door because we have to close it because our voice goes out oh there yeah. that was very kind of you 
it was an honor and pleasure I'll, to I'll see come you and so. see you again because uh, if there is any technical difficulty when punk normally it doesn't happen but now i could see on two occasions very twist yes and that i have to let him know because you know he has How to keep his no is i it, just i it just body language it's, it's the body language. language that is the code between us i just you know ah. i have to do my hand down so he knows that he has to keep his head down coach yeah take care thank you cheers bye 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 sir Ladies and gentlemen, um, breaking news. The coach has just gone out to indicate behind the scenes there. You heard it for yourselves. Pankash is moving on the cue action and the coach is just going out to... Um, it, it, it's always it's always difficult in any sport to be fair you know you're out there in your own you've traveled here and you want to do well and it's not all going according to plan but Pankash has got a golden opportunity if we go to a hill hill we call that in the pool world a hill hill um, in snooker they call it the deciding frame we will be witnessing an incredible battle but right now Pankash is moving on his cue action will he move again we're gonna have to wait and see he's all out there all on his own oh Pankash that was awesome it just goes to show we heard from an incredible coach of India he's rebuilt his game He'd never been so determined in his life, and I and I call it perfect, uh, pinpoint accuracy, and I feel that Pankash's old game is crept back, and I can assure you, if it goes to Hill Hill, or the decider, we have to somehow hold tight and watch a thriller of a match, because we will be treated, all of us, around the world, to a thriller who will qualify for the quarterfinals. So in the meantime, it's been a bit of an emotional journey for both players. We know that. Pankash nearly snookered himself. I think he's okay. So let's have a look at the scoreboard. 38 plays 8, 30 in the difference. So I'm looking at the pink. Now the reason why I'm looking at the pink because that will play a major part. Now, something's happened. He's come back off his cue action. He doesn't do that very often. So we heard what happened on the brown ball. Somebody walked in front of the shot. Pankash, you are playing the... Survive. This is co I call this... We do this one in the pool world, survival, survival game. Now in the pool world, it just changes on the last shot because of the nine ball. But in snooker, it changes in the blink of an eye because you don't know if you're going to come back to the table. He's had a kick. He had a kick, I can assure you. He had a kick, 100%. And that's why the cue ball has ended up where he is. So there's a two. No, Pankash will play and try and get the cue, uh, the cue ball behind the yellow, in my experience, and put the green on the cushion. But why play the black? Your eight plays 46. Oh, that's why he's done it. He's uh, We call this the bog down frame. And so he's he's saying, I'm super gluing that black to the pink, so you're not going anywhere other than the blue for high ball. So every red Pankash pots, it's minus eight, sorry, it's eight points taken away from the table. 
but he has to be careful here. It's not a foul and a miss as well. But he will have to take the blue. He doesn't want to snooker and play that game. So the blue and the three reds in the open will be sufficed. But then the snooker available behind the pink and the black. That's how far I'm thinking ahead. And I think he's done the same. He's saying, I'm going to take the blue. I'm going to take the reds. But I'm going to leave the last red and go snookering. So let's see what he does. Well, he's... Oh, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. That is the shot of the match so far. He's bringing out the pink and the black on one shot. What a clever way of thinking. I didn't see that. I've learned today, having a professional coach with me, how they nominate the pockets with numbers and how they communicate as well. So we saw an insight there. Muller's just looking at this. He's asking himself, have I played the right shot? And I don't think he's played the right shot. He's caught, it's called a containing safety shot. I feel that he should have hit in the cue ball of the ball carrier. Because it's quite easy to get out of. Yes, he has left it to the corner if he wants to take it on. But the reality is simple. He needs a red and a high. Oh, he is taking it. So he needs a black or the blue. He needs the black to be respotted. But it won't take him to the red, I don't think. Unless he's perfect in a straight line. Yeah, he's. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. Watch the cue ball. Maybe he hits the cushion and. Go the side. Watch it. Perfect. But where's the black? Where is the black, ladies and gentlemen? Just. Just. Perfect. One centimetre more. Oh, he's got plenty of room. So let's have a look at the score. Pankash is in a very difficult situation now, even though he's ahead in points. Miller's at the table, and he's had a century break, and he's looking, yeah, and there's the coach who was with me in the commentary. Lovely man. He really is. So, this black, the claw back, but it's too straight for the yellow. <coughs> yeah, he's looked at this is the problem. Players tend to look at the scoreboard and then start missing. And that's why he's played it. He said, well, I'm going to have to play a safety shot. So get the seven points and work from there. So he's looking at hiding the... He's going for the pot. No, he's... No. So he's settled going in behind the pink. But I think Pankash can see the yellow enough to leave the cue ball on top of the pink or push it down and send the yellow around so i'm looking at the presentation yes he's going to leave the cue ball in behind the pink 
Oh, he hasn't. And that's an excellent shot. Excellent, excellent. So this is the survival yellow. I feel whoever pots it. Oh, dear. Yeah, Miller is so disappointed to see that yellow. So Pankash would play a great safety shot. Well played. This is why he's a multiple world champion. You don't get to the height of the mountain if you can't win frames under pressure. So nice shot that was from Miller. I'm starting to enjoy it. It's not a thriller just yet, but when we get to one uh, level, level, it will be. But Pan Cash is playing the survival game. Whatever happens, he can't afford to make a human error because Miller is in the best perform of his life. But has the cue ball glued behind the black? Ladies and gentlemen, to all the Miller fans around the world, your young man has got this yellow to the yellow pocket. Hold for the green. Hold for the brown. And it's a f oh, Miller's refusing the pot. I don't understand. I don't understand that shot. He should have gone for it. He had an opportunity in any sport, if you get the opportunity, you've got to take it. And you're putting pressure on your opponent. And he's waiting for a better opportunity. Is that it? Yes, it is. Now, Miller is psyching himself up. He's saying to himself, this yellow will give me a great chance for the match and go through to the quarterfinals. But where's the white? Where's the white? Where is the white? Unbelievable. He has snooked himself. Whatever you do, do not blink. This match is turning into a thriller as we watch now the safety shot on the green. But where's the cue ball? He's just seen where the cue ball's going. And Miller now knows that this green. I feel that's wrong. You must go back to your seat. And that can upset some players if they stand over the pocket where the green's going. I'm walking behind your player. That's wrong. You must sit down. Sometimes that could upset your player. I have seen players where they stop and tell the referee to tell them to go and sit down. But Miller is putting psychological, sh psychological pressure on himself and getting the unforced errors. So the cue ball now has to be super glued to the black. Which it's not, I'm afraid. Yeah, the tap of the magic wand there. It's indicating he's left the green. He has, I'm looking at the monitor. He has left the green for the pot to the yellow pocket. Oh, he's, oh, that looks deceiving. But where is the green? Where is the green? Ladies and gentlemen, to all the Miller fans around the world, your young man is given Pankash the opportunity of a lifetime. He has to pot it though, it's not easy. 
tremendous pressure. There it is, I told you. I can feel the shots. Nothing is easy as Mallet goes to the table. He has to get his extension knowing he's going to win the match by coming to the brown to the blue. But he has to do it. Because everything is in the open. So this green now is oh it just went in the pocket but where's the white he's okay well he's overran the cue ball he wanted to come up further to be fair so this brown is more difficult now feeling the pressure as he wipes his hands cue ball clean once again Can Miller hold his nerve to all you fans around the world? We are treated to a brown ball thriller. Will he get it? He knows that this cue ball is going to go around the ball carrier. Miller takes the brown to the middle. He's done it. He's come perfect. So the quarterfinals, it's all on this blue to the pink and hold for the black. He knows he has to pot three balls. Ladies and gentlemen, your young man has got an opportunity of a lifetime. To all you Pakistan fans around the world, Hold tight, because you guys are on a roller coaster. How did he pot that with tremendous power? As we watch now this pink go to the corner and hold for the black to go through to the quarterfinals of the Asian Stupid Championships of 2024. This pink. Now for the black. But wait a minute. Your young man has got this black to the corner pocket. Tremendous pressure. As he psychs himself up, he's telling himself, if I pop this black, Pakistan will be so happy to see me in the quarterfinals of the Asian Stupid Championships. Will it go in? Stay tuned. He's done it. Unbelievable. Goodbye, everybody. that was Pine Cash was playing unbelievable at one stage but 
tell us, Miller, what is going on? What is going on? What a great game. A tough clearance. Pakistan, everybody's watching this match. What a uh, performance. Thanks to Allah and uh, thanks to my fan and Pakistan, uh, all over the world. Thanks to all. My team, my coach, thanks to all. Incredible. Now you're in the quarterfinals. Is there anything you'd like to say to all your family and friends around the world? Uh, all around the world. I'd like to say thank you. First of all, thanks, Allah. And uh, to respect me and uh, well, it's finished. It's a lot of tough clearance. It's uh, so pressure to me. I saw it. I felt it. On behalf of Caterpillar Federation, congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Very Ladies much. and gentlemen, the quarterfinals. Miller is through. Join us very shortly when Ali O'Bailey will be here soon. Bye-bye, <sighs> everyone.